Good morning, Yarnabees. I am in fine form today. <laughs> uh, oh, I had. <laughs> oh, apparently Odie's in fine form as well. <laughs> Good morning, Odie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I've had a rough couple of days. I'm still not all there. I'm in my pajama, fuzzy pajama pants, my sweatshirt, no makeup. I just got out of the shower. My hair's still wet. Um, I'm just not feeling the day. Like, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm lethargic. I'm hurting, you know, and, uh, yeah. So I'm just kind of going hmm, to go to the doctor or not to go to the doctor because, you know, you go to the doctor and they go, oh, you're fine. Right. So I'm like, whatever. Yeah. And then you got to wait forever and ever. And then if they do tests, then you got to wait again. I went for a blood test yesterday at the uh, hospital <clears throat> for my foot surgery coming up. And, oh. Uh, I sat there for about an hour before they even decided to acknowledge me. So I was not impressed with that. Um, I'm gonna put my glasses on because I wrote down everything in pencil. Really? Like seriously? Ugh. So yeah, it's just I've got some really weird side effects going on to whatever's happening with me. I'm bloated. <clears throat> like I noticed it on the video with Seta and I was actually quite embarrassed. I just feel really like my face I feel is just puffed out. My neck, my stomach is really puffed out. Like I just feel like the, you know, Michelin man just and I noticed it really bad yesterday. I was like, oh my God, am I really this big? Like, like, geez. Like, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> so, anyway, maybe it's the whole coming off the menopause or so. I don't know. <laughs> oh. What's in my cup? Today, I'm actually not having a coffee today, which is really weird for me. This is the stuff that I sent to Krista at the Secret Yarnery called Southern Breeze Pre-Sweetened Cold Brew Iced Tea. I think I got this at the grocery store. <clears throat> but um, yeah, it's basically, it's just a tea bag and you put it in some cold water with ice and you just let it percolate and sit. I've never had a tea that's actually a cold brew before so it's really good though and I'm dehydrated I can feel it you know <clears throat> excuse me like I just mm. which is weird because I'm puffed up so I think I have enough water in me anywho um okay on that note I started thinking well maybe I have fibromyalgia like I don't know Funny enough, George was driving to his jobs yesterday and he phones me and says, hey, just a thought. Like, I never told George that's what I was thinking. He said, just a thought. I just heard a commercial and it's uh, all about fibromyalgia and that now they have a new test to say whether or not you have fibromyalgia. I'm like, really? He says, yeah. He says it's called the FMA test. Hmm. He says, well, you know, check it out. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going, we're on the same wavelength here. So I checked it out and they do service Canada, but 
our Medicare doesn't pay for it and it's like a thousand dollars plus shipping and you have to get your doctors okay and the paper like all this stuff has to be sent to your doctor and uh, then they have to do the test and send it back and it's just a big rigmarole and uh, my doctor's kind of funny that way you know like he's into the alternative medicine kind of thing and he's I don't know, he's, he's a strange bird. He's not like your typical doctors. So I go in there and I say, hey, I got a pain here. And he says, oh, here's a book on uh, uh, gastric uh, dieting, blah, 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 something, something. And I'm like, what? Oh, you need to go on a diet. You need to lose some weight. No shit. So <laughs> I was just like, wow, okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, not impressed. But anyway, it's called FMA.com, I believe. Or FMATest.com. And uh, go check it out, because down in the States, it is covered or partially covered by your Medicare, uh, depending on what or a program you're on or whatever um, so if you think you have it have fibromyalgia or you want to know um, go check it out because they do also have I think it's called the why me and they can look at certain things in your blood and they can find out why you got this like family history stuff and you know oh just bizarre stuff so go check that out. I will leave the link down below. Um, Nona Mae, uh, no, we know Nona Mae. Um, she challenged us to show her your fur baby. Well, all my fur babies are sleeping. <laughs> Except for my cat. My cat, my cat's here. Hang on. Bella, come here. Ooh. Oh. See? Here's my, my Bella baby. Right? It's my Bella baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. She sees some birds. Now she's on the table. Um, so, yeah. So that's one of my fur babies. And, um... My other two are sleeping. Can you tell I'm really not with it? Like I'm really out of it? I can tell. I'm just like, ooh, ooh. like just, just like lethargic and just like, I don't even know what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> Odie knows what she's saying. <laughs> ah, okay, let's get on with this. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Charlie with Have a Yarn with Charlie. I watched her video last night and I laughed. She does this whole foggy thing in the background now because she doesn't want people to get car sick when she's in the car driving and whatever. She was at work and uh, she was delivering her newspapers and it was just all foggy. And it just the way it looked, it looked like she was like this little Oompa Loompa driving this big bus. <laughs> it's just I just laughed. Oh my God. I was just like, what in the hell is wrong with your, I'm like, something's wrong with your, your camera or something. <laughs> so I sent her a message. She says, no, I just, I just did that so that people wouldn't get car sick. <laughs> I was like, I laughed because she just looks so tiny with this big bus thing and just, it, just the way it looked, it was, it was hilarious. So uh, I couldn't watch the whole video without laughing. And I really needed a good laugh yesterday. So thank you. <laughs> and then her video today, uh, well, I guess it for her it was the same time, same night. Um, she's talking about mortgages and how she's having issues with this mortgage company and, and everything. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm having issues right now with a creditor and I just want to punch him in the head. 
I can't believe that they are doing this to me. There was a bill, I don't even know if I talked to you about this before, but anyway, there was a bill that came up in 2011, two years after my husband died, and it was for TELUS, and they said I owed them $4,000. I was like, what? Like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Uh, so, I don't know what the heck happened, but it was my cell phone number, or my old cell phone number, but, uh, yeah. So, my ex, he screwed up my credit bad, and I think what happened possibly was that because he used to work for cell phone companies and he did a fraudulent account on my um, my credit that I've been fighting for quite a while. But also, I think what happened was when I had this cell phone, he worked for Fido and I think what happened was he switched me over to Fido and the bill didn't get paid or paid out or something I didn't even know about it or Hello. Sorry. I just got, I don't know if he's a whiskey jack or what. I don't know if I can show you guys, hang on. But he's all black. Whoop. I don't know if you guys can see him. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, see, I've got all my bird feeders here. <laughs> so, yeah, so when I'm doing my videos, I've got my my hummingbird feeders up there. So when I'm doing my videos, sorry guys, don't want you getting sick there. So when I, whoa, hello. <laughs> uh, when I do my videos, I'm seeing all these birds. So, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, anyways, I think he screwed my credit up real bad. I'm going to blame it on him anyway. So, anyways, I have to pay. I, I got them down to $1,400. That was the original bill, I guess. The rest was all apparently interest. I went, mm -mm -mm. So, uh, so now I'm going to be paying them uh, every month for the next seven months. Um, what else? Oh, I missed Granny D's live yesterday, but apparently her live got stopped. I was like, what? Apparently she was singing a song and YouTube cut her off. Copyright issues, I guess. I thought, what? Are you kidding me? So what about all these people out there that are doing, you know, they're playing their guitar and they're singing and they're, you know, what about these people, you know? And what about videos that aren't theirs, you know, like, or that, that you know, that they have music playing or like, I don't know. I don't get what's happening with YouTube. It's all going crazy. Wow, the heat just kicked on and now I'm sweating. Whew, hold on, my heater's like right in front of me. So hang on, I gotta turn that sucker off. Whew. George actually turned the heat on this morning. It's weird, usually I'm the one that won't make a fire till later and uh, I'll turn the heat on a little bit during the day. And he comes home and goes, why are you using the heater? Just make a fire. And now he's the one. I'm, I'm not making a fire. I'm not putting the heat on, nothing. Because I'm just like, I'm just going to wear a sweater. I have my blanket and I'm good. And he's like, it's cold in here. <laughs> so I wonder if he's kind of turned a page since he had his last birthday. And he's got another birthday coming up in November. So... <laughs> 
Uh, it's kind of funny how things go. Anyway, yeah, so she got cut off. And I was just like, I, whatever. So it makes me wonder. I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't know. Because when Lisa from Lisa's Crochet did that karaoke video and then I did George's karaoke video, I wonder how that's going to affect... I guess I'm not going to get... When I hit a thousand or whenever I hit whatever I need to do to get paid, um, I guess maybe I won't get anything on that video because he's singing a song. So, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like, whatever. YouTube's getting crazy. Okay, congratulations to Billy of Crafty Floridian. She is at 2,000 subscribers. Yay! Oh, that's so awesome, Billy. I am so happy for you. Um, wow. Wow. Um, and there's other milestones out there, uh, which I haven't written down yet. Oh, I've got hair all over me. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of milestones that just happened. Uh, I think Lisa's crochet hit a milestone too. Darn it, I didn't write any of these down. See, I'm not with it. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, so congratulations to all of you that have hit your milestone. I know there was one of you that hit a 200 milestone. Uh, geez, I can't remember now. <clears throat> anyway. So congratulations to all of you uh, for hitting those milestones. And well, <clears throat> I happen to have hit a milestone as well. I hit my 600 milestone. Yes, I did. I'm at 638 or something now. Um, so yay me! <laughs> so I'm I am going to. Up to a thousand. I'll be up there before you know it, hopefully, and then I could do another big giveaway. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I got a whole bunch of yarn here just waiting. Just waiting. So, <clears throat> wow. I'm having some issues. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> I got like double chin happening here. Oh God, don't do that. <laughs> I have to like stick my neck out like this so I don't have a double chin. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I'm so happy for Billy. That's pretty awesome. It's weird. It's like, wasn't she just at a thousand? Like not too long ago and all of a sudden whew, she went up like big time. It's like, wow, awesome. Uh, what else? So you remember I was showing you, and of course I didn't bring it over here. <sighs> okay, I'll show you this one first. Whoops. This stuff is falling over. Okay. The yarn that I got uh, when I went to see Seta it's the James C. Brett Marble Chunky. Can you see that? Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, in this color. I started making a hat with it last night. And I'm actually doing it from the bottom up, which I hate doing. But it's working, oops, it's working up really nicely. There we go. Oh, it's getting all blown out here. Um, it's actually working up really nice. Beautiful color. It's got some sparkle in it. You see the sparkle there. I'm really happy with this yarn, actually. Um, I'm using a five millimeter hook and I'm doing the V-stitch on this but you can't tell it's a V-stitch like it just looks like a 
stitch. <laughs> so, but it's, it's so pretty, so pretty. I'm really happy with that. Oops. <laughs> okay. Now the sea turtle fiber, excuse me, fiber art yarn that I got. And I was going, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it was saying, I want to be a Yolanda Lopez um, shawl or poncho. I was like, yes! The poncho that Z and Seta made, I've been wanting to make that poncho for a long time, all summer. And I just didn't do it, didn't do it. And I thought, I gotta do it with this. And I, <laughs> not ever using a hank before, thought one hank should do it. Um, no. And I thought, okay, two hanks will do it. No. I don't know what is going on, but <sighs> that's how much I got out of one hank. That's it. One hank. So two hanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two hanks will probably take me to whoop, about there. But that's like half. Two hanks would be half of what's needed to make this. Really? I'm so disappointed. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing if I'm doing something wrong. <clears throat> but I'm going by the pattern. <sighs> Seta, Z, help me out here. Like, what am I doing? Is this going to stretch out? Or is it, what? what's the deal here? Because this is just really short. And these hanks are... 210 yards each that's 115 grams like that's quite a bit I, I don't know maybe even if I was using well I don't know maybe I wasn't using a big enough hook or something I don't but it is what it is so I'm going to try I have to try and figure out a yarn that I can use with this and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of it in a different color and then do this hank at the bottom but I don't know I, I have to use another hand dyed yarn don't I like ugh, I'm just like Argh! so upset so upset so that was my disastrous whip. Oh well, whatever. Um, oh, crystal. <laughs> Let's try that again. <clears throat> try swallowing before you start talking. <laughs> oh man. Um, crystal from Chronically Crochet. I was t I've been telling you for like the last week about her scarf that she's doing. Check out her video. I will link that down below. Um, it's, oh, it's so pretty. And I've been telling you guys that I can't find, I couldn't find the, um, the ribbon yarn that is going to be in it because it's discontinued. So I've been talking back and forth with Crystal and she sent me an email saying that she found it at Lovecraft. $6.99 a ball. And that was on sale. It's like regular 15 or something. <sighs> but that's okay. I digress. I went and ordered some anyway. Because I know once she sets this pattern, sends this pattern out, 
to the world that it's going to be a hot seller. So I ordered six balls or something. Oh, maybe a bit more. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, I know that these are going to sell really good once I get the pattern. She's not feeling well, so she, she says the pattern's done. She's just waiting for the testers to get back to her. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, she's gonna. She wants to put out a video, but her health is kind of um, holding her back a little bit, which is fine because I, I'm sure I can figure out the pattern. And I just really hope that you get better soon, sweetheart, because I know you've been having it really rough mm -hmm. lately and uh, that really sucks. But um, no rush, you know. I mean, if you get the pattern out, you know, that's great. You know, because that'll give, it'll give people time to get it done for Christmas and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so don't worry about the video, honey. <clears throat> it's okay. So anyways, I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much it, I think. Man, I thought this was going to be a really short video and it turned into a little bit longer video. So, yay, me. <laughs> Um, so, oh, uh, Seta is on her way up to Alaska now. Holy man, she's, um, last time I talked to her, she was in Prince George, I think it was. And now she's up further. And uh, now she's going even further now. So I have no idea where she is. But she's out there somewhere and we wish her all the best. We love her dearly. Uh, and safe travels, my friend. Keep me posted. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to just just go crochet and relax. My hands are killing me. But I just could not not crochet. Like I, I was going out of my mind. I was just like I've got to make something. i got to do something. So I sat there and I was. I put some hot cold cream on my hands. And I just went slow very slow. Usually I can get a hat done in no time. <laughs> so that was quite a lot for me. I was like, ah, oh, this sucks. So anyway, anyways. Okay. So I will talk to you guys all later. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all of my, my existing subscribers. Um, I, I appreciate you guys so much, so much. So do all the things, hit the like, hit the, the subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Get me up to a thousand so I can give you guys a giveaway. Okay? So I love you all. And I will talk to you later. Bye.